These are just some of the 346 victims of the 737 MAX crashes. Their photos carried into the US Congress by grieving relatives. Lawmakers have pledged they'll get to the bottom of what happened. And the CEO of the company who built the doomed planes has apologized repeatedly to the victims' families this week. We are deeply, deeply sorry. I will never forget. And I want you to know that. And uh, we're committed to making the improvements that we need to make. But for Paul Giroge, who lost his wife, three young children and mother-in-law in the Ethiopian Airlines crash, it's too little, too late. Eight months have passed since uh, the crash and um, it's easy to say that now because there has been a lot of pressure on Boeing from the public, from the media, from the families of the victims, from the US lawmakers. So it's easy for him to say that he regrets that. Mullenberg also faced US senators on Tuesday, with one lawmaker accusing Boeing of selling, quotes, flying coffins. These hearings come after internal messages between Boeing pilots in 2016 surfaced earlier this month. The company's chief test pilots expressed concern about the software system known as MCAS, saying it was, quotes, running rampant in flight simulations. The anti-stall system was criticized by Indonesian authorities last week in their report on the 2018 Lion Air crash that left 189 people dead. Despite the mounting controversy, Boeing wants US authorities to approve the 737 MAX's return to the skies by the end of the year. But some family members of the victims say the planes should never fly again. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.